Hi guys, so today I am doing my eyeshadow palette collection. So these are all my palettes that I own in my collection. There's not too many, but there's just enough for me to work with and use. Because I hate it when I see like beauty gurus and they have like 50,000 eyeshadow palettes and they don't even use them. And some of them are like exactly the same. Like that annoys me. I'm like, get an eyeshadow palette that has different colours in it because then you use them all the time. So that is my tip for our shadow palette. So we're going to be going from least favourite to favourite. And I'm going to give you my reasons why and why I still have them and why I still use them. And yeah, um, this is going to be like a medium to long video because I just want to explain some things. And yeah, let's get started. My least favourite palette is this one. And this is by NUA and this is the new um, Glitter Rock Chick Eyeshadow Palette. And this is what it looks like. They are very, just like, not that great. They're very, like, Vaseline-y, they feel like Vaseline, basically, on your eyelids. And I don't like that feeling with glitter. I know that it is, you know, not so expensive, but I really don't like that feeling. But look at the pigment, it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Um, the same power is pretty good as well. But yeah, I just didn't like that Vaseline film on my eyelids. And I only use this for Christmas time anyway because... My next least favourite eyeshadow palette is this one. This is just a makeup book in general. And it's by the Colour Institute. But I really like the colours. These are the eyeshadows. All the rest is something different. So I'll just like flip it around and show you. I really love the colours. Like you get a big variety of different colours. And they're really good pigments as well. I like flip it around and show you oh, they're like good pigmentation and i'll show you like a pink look it's like good pigmentation but they crease like crazy and that's the only thing that i don't like about these so i really like these for like videos and then video filming then i know that i'm going to take my makeup off after and i want like a pacific army look or something like that or a pacific pink look then i'll definitely go for this palette but for all day long wearing, um, these are definitely not the thing, but I really do like these for when I'm, you know, filming and doing it for filming purposes. And I, just, I don't know, I'm just really annoyed because I really love the colours, like, look at this purple up here, like, this, look, that is so nice, but I just don't like the lasting power, there's like none, and it's, they're very chalky as well, which I don't really like. My next least favourite eyeshadow palette is this one and I love this palette so much. I love the colours in it. I'll try and open it. It's really hard to open. I love the colours in it and then you get another layer of colours. You guys probably heard me talk about this like a ton of times. Why am I so difficult? Story of my life. And then you get a ton of eyeshadows here. The only thing I don't like is the bottom eyeshadows have cracked. Um, but it's only like colours that I've already got, so I'm not too fussed about them. I love the colours. I just, look, again, you can do such a nice, like, beach look. But again, the staying power is not the best. It's quite good, though. I think I only have to blend this out, like... Oh, do I just mark it? Um, but yeah, I really, really like this palette. But I just don't like the fact that I have to blend it out about two... Or three times a day. Two is just like a ran across the limit. Um, the kitchen so I was like, what is he doing? Um, but I don't like the fact that you have to blend these out like multiple times a day. And then obviously it loses pigment so you have to add more. Um, but yeah. Next one is this palette. Now you guys probably haven't seen this palette in absolutely ages. And this is the BC Body Collection Classic Gold Palette. And this was probably one of my first palettes I ever got on YouTube. And I used it all the time. Um, and yeah, this just... Looks like this if you haven't seen it. All of these are so hard to open, or am I just stupid? I'm probably just stupid, but anyway. Um, these are really neutral and like really nice, and you can go from daytime to nighttime with the blue. And I really like these, and I used these a lot when I was in school. But again, they do crease, but not as much as the other two. I probably only have to blend this out like once in a day, and then add a tiny bit more, and I'm good to go. Um. But yeah, I really do like these. This one is this one, and this is the Laveau. I never know how to say it. I think it's like, I don't know. That's the brand name up there. And I want to say, excuse my nails. If you haven't watched my um, March favourites. Is it March? Am I stupid again? Yeah, March favourites. Um, then my nail 
fell off and I'm waiting for my nails to repair to see like before I paint them again so they don't get like horrible um so excuse that but yeah these are the colors I really like these because again you can do really natural really like smoky if you want to and they're very creamy like look at the pigmentation and they're just creamy and glittery and they stay on very well I really do like these and it's only like two pound which is really good the next one is my one direction palette and again it's the exact same reason I really like these they're very good for glitter I really love this one as a blush recently I've been loving it and um, I really just love this palette and it's very cheap and very good but I only the only thing I don't like about it is you do have to blend it out a lot more than this one but I just find out that I use this a lot more than the other one so they're kind of like on the same page the next one is the other NUA Poptastic palette and you guys have heard me talk about this a lot but this is just a very bright very good for carnival looks I always use this in the summertime and yeah I have to blend this out about once a day and then like once when I use it um and that's only if I use these colors in my crease so if I use another color in my crease I don't have to blend it out at all which I really do love the next palette is this NUA Eden palette and this again is really good for a smoky eye and again if I don't use it in the crease, I don't have to blend it out. So if I use it on my outer V kind of area, it is really good, really glowy, really, really creamy, really pigmented. I'll show you on the other hand because I've swatched quite a few times on that hand. Look, really, really pigmented and I just, I really like this palette. And again, if I don't use it in my crease, which you can't really use any of these colours in your crease, really, um, it stays on all day. My last and um, favourite palette is the Avon palette. This palette is so good like I'll show you so these are all the colours in them you guys have probably seen me talk about these like absolutely ton these are my absolute favourites and yeah they just stay on all day and then there's loads of different colour like blending colours I really love these for crease colours like this one here is my favourite like outer V colour this one here is my favourite crease colour this one here is my favourite crease colour I really like all the rest for the lid and yeah, I just really love this palette. I'd really recommend it. It's just called Eyeshadow Lip Gloss Brush um, Blush and then just A1. That's it. That's what it says. And then, yeah, so you get eyeshadows, lip glosses and blush and bronzers and all that underneath it as well, which I... Uh, my favourite. The other thing I forgot to say is you don't have to blend this out at all during the day it stays on it doesn't crease until you need to take it off and it is a bit of a nightmare to actually get off your eye which is brilliant for like you know long wear and yeah i love it i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like this video if you like more collections and comment down below your favorite palette and subscribe if you want to see more all right guys i will see you guys later goodbye now to work like my Lisa. Now to work like Miley Cyrus.